Hey guys. So I'm here and ready to finish up this feature wall. Um, if you haven't yet seen uh, part one of this vlog, then go and check that out now. This is uh, the second part, part two, and amazingly I uh, was able to um, complete and finish all of the um, plaques above the fireplace to create this new feature wall in my plant space. So uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see, there you go. Um, so let me get a better angle of uh, the plaques that I created and then let me tell you what's up next. All right guys, I'm not sure if you can still tell, but the uh, masking tape that I used to um, basically create the different, um, you know, layout and pattern and size of all of these plaques is still up there. So the first thing that I need to do is uh, remove the plaques and get rid of the masking tape and then start adding um, the different plants that I have in mind to the plaques. So let me put the camera down and get that started and yeah, I'll be right back. All right, so I just removed all of the masking tape from the wall and when I first started this project, I really was thinking that I would mount um, some of the plants directly um, to these new plaques. But since I'm in the thick of it, I think what I'm going to do is keep um, the plants that are already on their own plaques um, that I had already set up. Um, I'm gonna keep them on those and just add that to these new plaques. And that way it's really easy for me to remove those and care for those plants. So let me go ahead and grab um, the plant that I wanna put on this one and explain exactly what I mean by that. All right, so this is the smaller of the two staghorn ferns and I want to put it on this plaque. So I did go ahead already and kind of planned this out a little bit and I hammered in um, some little copper nails and basically um, it's smart to keep this all kind of as one unit because then I can um, basically take this off at any point in time, um, give it a bath, water it, um, that kind of thing. So it makes it a lot easier and practical to care for and I think it will actually look uh, great as well. So let me go ahead and basically this kind of goes on there like that. And then it should be all nice and centered and then I'm gonna move it obviously up into its spot. So I'm gonna go ahead and set uh, the different plaques up with the plants that I know about and there's a few plaques that I still have to figure out what's gonna go on them. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. How do you think this is all turning out? And um, yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you think this is a cool idea. Uh, I'll be right back and I'm gonna start uh, hanging some of these guys up. So this is already off to a great start. I think it looks amazing. Uh, here, let me show you and uh, tell me what you think. So I put up the two um, stakehorn ferns and my really large air plant, as you can see. And uh, I still have 
these two um, other plaques that I need to kind of figure out. And originally I was thinking I would put my um, Hey I uh, mounted onto this plaque, but I think I have another idea. Uh, let me show you what I have in store. So this is one of my Hey I um, right here. And um, as you can see, it you know climbs up and they call it the shingle plant because it kind of the leaves can you know kind of glue themselves to um, the wood as you can tell so um, for this longer piece I was really originally thinking I'd have something kind of climbing up it but because I'm not sure if that's gonna quite work I thought well why not do the opposite um, have basically like a little pot at the top and use a trailing plant to come down. Um, I can just use a little bit of wire. I went ahead and drilled two holes at the top of this uh, plaque and then I can just wire around this terracotta pot and go through the bottom hole um, to make sure that it's really secure. So let me go and get this all set up and then show you what plan I had in mind. It looks really cool. Um, I'm really curious to hear and see um, or get some feedback on what you guys think about uh, the trailing plant instead of a climbing one. All right, so as you can see, the um, terracotta pot I've attached to the plaque with uh, some wire. So I've wrapped it around um, and I did go once through um, the bottom of the pot and then on the back I've just secured it all um, nicely. So that is very secure on there. Um, so now it just needs my uh, its little trailing plant and then it can be uh, mounted up here. So let me go ahead and do that and show you uh, what it looks like. So using um, a trailing plant here in this little terracotta pot at the top of this plaque was not my original idea, but I think it's uh, super successful. So I basically went ahead and put my string um, of spades in a really small um, nursery pot that fit in that terracotta pot. So if I need to remove it if because it needs a little bit more light or I need to water it, I can take it off um, or take it out of the terracotta pot, uh, you know, do what I need to do and then I can put it back. Um, that being said, I'm really happy uh, with the effect and how that all turned out um, with the skylight right there. Um, these plants will still get uh, a lot of bright and direct light. Um, so you never know if that's not ultimately happy there that I can move it, but I think um, it's really cool. It's kind of, I'm not sure if it's picking up um, on camera, but it looks really neat um, trailing down and in front of this plaque. Uh, so let me know in the comments down below how do you guys like all of this? I still have one empty plaque. Um, I need your suggestions and your ideas. Should I just throw up another air plant or should I do something completely different? Um, what should I put all along here? I really don't know. I've got to figure this out, but I think overall styling this space with these plaques is you know, has been super successful. I really like uh, how it all looks. I like the contrast um, of the light and the dark. And again, with the circular plaques over the square. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. What do you guys think? Ugh, what should I put up here? I really don't know. Well, guys, love my new feature wall above the mantle. I hope you guys like it too. Um, yeah, until the next one. Miss you guys so much.